Can we meet every individual need with the next level of vehicle versatility? Can we improve lives with the next level of services? Can we increase intuitive interaction with the next level of technology? Can we bring sustainability to the next level? Can we combine workhorse capability with the next level of fascinating design? The answer to all these questions in the video is, of course, yes, we can. The new Sprinter will reach the next level, and it will redefine it. We are going to deliver proof of that tonight. Having said that, welcome to Duisburg. Next level is the right headline for this event, because the new Sprinter will once more set standards in a segment that it has given its name to more than 20 years ago. The Sprinter is the sellotape and the Kleenex of the transport industry. When you want to move house, you don't order a panel van. You ask for a Sprinter. And by the way, most presents are not brought by Santa Claus, but by a Sprinter. So it's no surprise that the Sprinter is for Mercedes-Benz vans, what the S-Class is for passenger cars. It's an icon. It's the core of the brand, the driving force behind change and technological innovation. They are both the measure of all things in their respective segment. For instance, in 1995, the Sprinter was the first van in its class with ABS. It received ESP in 2002 and in 2013 Euro 6 engines and crosswind assist were added. The new Sprinter will seamlessly continue this history of innovation way beyond just the hardware. The big topics that the new Sprinter gives answers to are relevant for the entire industry. I'm talking about connection and digitization. It's about increasing automation of driving. And of course, it's about electric and alternative drivetrains. At Daimler, we summarize these future topics under the headline CASE, which stands for Connected, Autonomous, Shared and Electric. No other OEM comes even close um, to our possibilities to benefit from our different divisions from vans over trucks, buses, mobility services and passenger cars. And we will use this strategic advantage. It was only last Friday when we presented the new Mercedes A-Class in Amsterdam. We also presented MBUX, our completely new infotainment system. MBUX will fundamentally change the way we interact with our vehicles or navigate to new destinations. MBX is capable of learning and it adapts to the individual needs of drivers. The new Sprinter will be the second vehicle in our company to get MBUX. Many functions like navigation to exactly the right loading dock with a precision of one meter are going to help commercial users in particular. And that is what Next Level means to us. We want to offer the best possible tailor-made overall package to our customers. And today, this is mainly about the right combination of hardware and software. It might be useful for a car driver to use a smartphone app to access the key vehicle data, but for a fleet customer, this might even mean a solid competitive advantage. So why should they ignore that? Electrification 
is not an important topic besides connectivity. Electromobility will first of all succeed in cities for commercial delivery services, alternative drive trains offer an interesting option, also in terms of range. Forecasts for the CEP industry are pointing up steeply for the next few years. This is why we're extending our portfolio. Our commercial vehicle portfolio will become electric step by step. In 2017, we presented the e-canter and the e-veto. This year, the electric Citaro city bus will follow. And today we show, besides total combustion engines, an outlook to the electric sprinter. And that shows how the new sprinter helps to intelligently link the case principles to be a element in Vanguard in its segment. Our case activities require major investments. We can afford them because our core business is going better than ever. We sold almost 3.3 million cars, buses, trucks and vans last year. January was our 59th record month in sequence for cars. And in 2017, we've been once more the most successful premium brand in the world. Vans have four Den Löwenanteil hat hier weiter der aktuelle Sprinter, der sich mit einem Verkaufsrekord aus seinem letzten vollen Jahr verabschiedet. Von all diesen Erfolgen profitiert auch Daimler als Ganzes. Unser Konzernumsatz zog um 7 Prozent auf 164,3 Milliarden Euro an. Das EBIT ist doppelt so stark gestiegen wie der Umsatz. Das heißt, wir sind sehr profitabel gewachsen. We've grown Aus dieser very starken Position heraus haben wir uns auch From für das Jahr 2018 eine out, Menge vorgenommen. We've made great plans for 2018. We will strengthen our core business across all divisions. At the same time, we will further develop the four case principles and our transformation goes even further than that. Because as much as products are changing, just as much needs Daimler to change as a company. To be able to translate the opportunities of future into convincing products, we need a new culture. Daimler has started this cultural change with the Leadership 2020 program. This initiative has now thousands of ambassadors across all levels of hierarchy and all locations worldwide. I am one of them. And this spirit of pioneering is enormous. We want to use that and extend it in 2018, which means seeing more opportunities rather than risks, understanding change as something that we need to work on day in, day out. I'm proud to have a team that can put together a vehicle like the new Sprinter and I'm proud to see how much all employees in all areas of this company have the will and the wish for change. It's exactly this combination that lifts Daimler to the next level. And I'm happy to be able to contribute to that, together with 290,000 Daimler employees, to shape the future of Daimler together. I believe that our board member for human resources agree with me. Willie, the stage is yours.